What's up YouTube, I'm back. So as you may have noticed, the shop is a lot cleaner than it has been for a long time. And that's actually because we're selling it. Um, not much I can do about that situation, it's, it's gonna happen. But let's make a project. Let's do it. Because we can, and we will, and we have to, because I told someone I would. So yeah, let's get started. This is why you always use a test piece. Thought I had a tool set, thought everything was good to go. Turns out I'm just an idiot. And fortunately I'm gonna have to buy a new board. So what's going on is my glue seams are not, not the way I want them to be. And I don't know how much of this is, of the bad seams are shadow lines because the boards weren't completely flat. That could be part of the problem. Hopefully that's the entirety of the problem. And when I take it to get uh, thickness sanded to its final dimensions, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll actually look nice. And I'm. I'm really hoping that's true. I'm just kind of bummed right now. I really don't want to have to start over, but we'll see. So I'm just now leaving the hardwood store and, oh man, it's just, all the joints are tight. The, they put it through their thickness sander, which is, by the way, the most fantastic piece of equipment on the face of the earth. 100% worth the hour drive, because I don't know how long it would take me to get that all done. It looks so good. All the joints are so tight, and I did not expect that. Looking at the cuts coming off the table saw, you could see the saw marks in it, and I was just like, I wasn't happy, I was scared. But it all worked out. You can't, you can't see any of the seams, and I'm just so, relieved. So that means I now get to proceed on to part two of putting together the tabletop. We have some issues. The router wasn't feeling too amazingly stable as I was doing this. And that's because it wasn't. So, turns out that's not flat. That's not even pretending to be flat. Luckily, I have another router. I got it all set up. 
So, let's do that. Hopefully, we can fix this. That fixed it. Alright, on to the next ones. Well, crap. It was going so, so well. And then tear out. Gosh darn it. This is gonna be annoying. Alright, so last night I had tear out because I was going against the grain. And I was going against the grain because I didn't have the right bit to go the safe direction. Now I have the right bit, so let's do this again.
All right, so I got all the things glued in. Only had one minor catastrophe. Um, this little chunk right there, about the size of my finger to fingernail. It kind of, man, my fingernail's so gross right now. What was I saying? Oh, right, the the chunk blew out, and that that sucks. But it's kind of like saturated in super glue right now, and hopefully that stays in. I can sand it back down, and we'll see how it looks. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Alrighty, so things have happened since I last videotaped. I have my bolts going on with some screws. I'm gonna clean up those little shards, but basically it's just screws going straight in. I tried a lot of different ways and none of them really worked. So I'm just going with this little thing right here. I still have to do the top ones, but I'm pretty happy with how the joints have come out, so. I'm hopeful. And then I have my little dado running along here for me to attach the top with. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 